Hello everyone. In today's video, I am answering one of my subscribers' questions here. Mr. Samir is asking if change a wall height using wall type in Dynamo. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to solve this here in this file. I have like uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, walls. Four of them are actually, uh, you know, uh, a generic 200 millimeter wall, while this one by itself is a 90 millimeter uh, wall. Uh, so to answer this question, to you know, make two notes to answer this question. The first one, it's a, just a very easy and very basic, you know, uh, way which I'm gonna control all the heights for all the walls, uh, disregard their own, uh, you know, uh, type they are, whether in whether they are uh, a wall type, whether they are a generic uh, 200 millimeter, or whether they are a brick. Uh, so I'm gonna pick here uh, categories. And here this node will allow me to select whatever I want. So I'm gonna go wall WA and I'm gonna select all the walls. Sorry, select the category type walls. And I need to select all uh, elements within this category. Here. So this node will take this category, which is wall, and search for all its instances and bring me all the types of wall. Always have a look how many you have here, five, and check them uh, against the rivet files. So now I will go ahead and add elements to set parameter. by name, this one. And what I need is, uh, I need the, you know, the elements that I just imported. I need a slider, that's an numerical slider. It goes for 100, um, maybe making it 20, that's the maximum I need. And alpha to provide the parameter names. So, uh, the go ahead. And have a look what is the name in the property panel you want to change the height so what is the exact words it said here unconnected height so go back to dynamo double click and then write unconnected height make sure capital letters smalls uh, everything has been written properly and then connect this guy here and you will see that you know everything is work perfectly that's that you know those are all types of the wall and if i change you know uh, the slider making it five or six or seven or eight i will notice that all the walls and disregard their their type their uh, type actually is increasing or decreasing in height at the same time i'll just you know cancel this dude here and because I want to stop it, otherwise I will have two controller on that. And I will do the whole thing again, but with a detailed way. And this time uh, you can go ahead and do a, a select model if you like. There is a, a, more than one way actually to select uh, the elements from the screen. So I'm gonna go with the select model elements. Even though I think this one is better, you know, because it's a specifically targeting wall, but this one might get you into the trouble if there is a chair or a floor. Maybe if you have this one, I think it's better. But just to show you guys that you have more than one way to select the walls, this is not suitable in a complicated files again because you know you're gonna select uh, furniture, slabs, and everything. Uh, what we need to do is technically the same. We need this one and this one, so I will just copy paste them. And now we need to understand the difference between uh, uh, the elements or the walls we are dealing with and the property we want to change. Is it a type parameter or an instance parameter? And if you see that this type is also having the same thing, but we really need to know, and this is an instance parameter, but we really need to know Dynamo to recognize this. So what I'm gonna do, is uh, I will just simply uh, add an element dot parameters and I will 
directly connecting this let me just uh, see those are the instances that we have if I connect that directly like this Dynamo will provide for me uh, you know all the instance parameter and you can know and understand they are instance because they are specific for each wall so for the first wall you can notice that it's area like a 68 if you zoom down for the next sub list you're going to see the second one is 50 and so on so when you see the parameter is actually different based on each element you select you have to understand it's a parameter dedicated for this element only and this is the def basic definition of an instance parameter good idea to group that and name it this is an instance parameter it will now if you write type here in the library search and it's uh, uh, here it's type just by writing that and I was uh, you know trying to find uh, if I can find it with element dot type types anyway and this is uh, for Archilab so it's an external package maybe you need to install it and if you add this one here uh, this guy will just get you the types for all this instance you got so you know that this wall is this type that, that type for that wall and so on so check always as I said in the beginning you have four uh, generic 200 mil and one brick as you can see here now do the same you know like just add the parameter again element dot parameter just hit control and drag that and now you can see that those are the type parameter and you can tell that by you know showing that they are they don't have you know a unique number they are should be the same for all the instances and this is good because it tell you what type of uh, wall you got which is generic 200 mil this is beautiful and it's a good idea again to group it and write that type parameter As you can see here now let's uh, try to use the type parameter because it tells you uh, which or what actually the name of that type which is generic 200 mil uh, that's really good so I'm going to add string from object Yep. so let's do this twice one time for all the types we have in here see and this dude here can tell you in a string those are the names or the text representing the names and the same thing here again I'm gonna push that aside and I'm gonna add equal to see or to check which one of those walls follow the type I want okay so now what we got is lots of you know false and detailed and that's 100% uh, need to be refined so let me first add a wall type here to tell Dynamo which one so I will just pick down because now I know that I have two of those so you either write the name directly or you just you know go ahead and pick up the thing you want and provide that that's my thing here not to all the parameter see this one is actually bring us the string for all the parameter uh, I don't want that just let me take the string so I can check only those four now you see that false 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 four of them and one true so that follow that they are the four of them are just not the brick wall and only this guy is true that's what we want now with this filter is you know very basic filter working properly I need a, a boolean here list dot
Yep. And this is the condition, or this is the mask, and you need to connect it to the elements you just got. Yep. Based on you know the mask you just did, which is the the type of the wall. So maybe we need a watch. See, that's uh, the wall, the only one. Now I can you know go ahead and connect this and connect that. Zoom in. Now I will move and you will see that's only this specific wall, which is the brick one that we filtered from all the wall types. Parameter is actually responding to us. So you can see that's uh, 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 a better way to specifically control uh, at, uh, all types of wall uh, within, the, within the file, actually within the selected group that we just did. So we used, as uh, you can see, we use this, uh, where is it? We use those two things so we can understand uh, what are the type parameter and the instance parameter because, you know, these are, uh, you know, uh, types of the walls. And that might help me to understand the way it's been organized. It's really good because, you know, you see the wall type here. You understand that this is a, a type parameter the name itself is a type parameter so you have to understand this i added those two things you know to help you to uh, better recognize the difference between them even though what we changed was an instance parameter which is the unconnected height so try to you know understand that because when i change look here very uh, carefully this dude here where is it uh this one here what I added this wall, it's just a filtered out of those instances, see? So what I actually change here is an instance parameter. That's what always be, you know, what I always find it hard to be understood, that I'm actually changing here an instance parameter, but based on my full understanding and a full list of a Boolean mask here that based on a type parameter. That's why I explain those two things and that's why you need to understand and add those two things so you distinguish between the type parameter that we used to make the mask and the instance parameter, which is the one actually we are controlling. Anyway, guys, I, I wish that you find this video useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.